me. What's going on here? What do we got? Sergeant Barney Hook. He's claiming it's 1943. What do you mean? What year is it? Take him to the infirmary. Let Miller handle it. Yes, ma'am. I'll call for him. Well, make yourself at home, bud. There's a bed and a bathtub here to wet your gills. What? What the hell? No! Shit! I, I can't! No! No! God! No! No! Oh, something's wrong! I can't! Uh. Jerry, what's happening? Open the door! Uh, there's someone in there! Jerry, what's wrong with you? Jerry! Jerry! Step out of it! Code 49! Left wing! Infirmary! What the hell happened here? Sheesh, what's with the weather today? The radio said it's supposed to be the storm of the century. Apparently, the last recorded thunderstorm this strong was on October 28th, 1943. Today of all days. I just wanted to spend the rest of my day in a nice warm bath. Too much to ask for, I guess. Dr. Johnson? Good evening, Agent Miller. Come on in. Huh. Jerry called and said this guy was still alive. We couldn't predict this. Cause of death? Fear. The poor guy was scared to death, literally. But that's not what's bothering me. Take a look. Active duty United States Navy. Enlisted in... <laughs> Is this a joke? That's right, 1942. Up to you to find out where he actually came from now. Where'd you find him? The police detained him on the coast. He was running around like a madman and harassing passersby. The man was wearing a military uniform, but that particular set had been out of commission for decades. Even the manner in which he died was strange. I still had a lot of questions, so I started with the surveillance cameras. <coughs> hmm. What could have disabled the camera? The camera came back online a minute later, but Barney Hook was already dead. What's this? I need to talk to that guard. I don't know what it was, Agent Miller. It's just, I couldn't open the infirmary door. I somehow felt that someone was behind it. Not that lone sailor we picked up. Someone else. I was scared. I've never been more afraid in my life. I didn't see him, but somehow I knew what he looked like. Jerry Reeves was hardened, served in combat zones, saw a lot of terrible shit. But now he was trembling with fear like a child. Can you describe the man you felt you saw behind the door? <laughs> emaciated. His skin was red. He didn't have eyes and uh, oh god. His entire face was a gaping mouth. <laughs> Calm yourself, Jerry. Oh, sorry. Oh, Please, give me an amnestic. I just want to forget this whole thing. <laughs> Do you remember passing out in the infirmary? I don't remember. I don't know. Apart from extreme fear, he displays no other symptoms. I'll give him some amnestic injection. <sighs> Keep me posted. Early the next morning, I took Barney Hook's documents to the experts at the military museum. Ah, oh, yes. I remember these service cards. They were issued until 1973. But to answer your question, this is without a doubt authentic. Are you positive, Mr. Grape? Absolutely, young man. Though I have to say, these documents look strange. They're as good as new. Although, judging by the date, they're already, uh, almost 60 years old. So far, my only explanation was Barney Hook had traveled through time somehow, from 1943 to the year 2000. Thank you for your time, sir. 
Captain Orwell, this is Agent Vincent Miller. Gather your team and sweep the coast, focusing on where we found Barney Hook. What exactly are we looking for, sir? An abnormality, something resembling a time portal. <sighs> what a crazy day. I could really use some rest. Don't worry, Jerry. Soon you'll forget all of this ever happened. Oh, thank you, Miss Johnson. That's it, Mr. Reeves. Shit! Oh! Dr. Johnson, what's the matter? Ah, uh, my head's spinning. I'm tired. I probably just need a bath. Sorry about that, Jerry. You can go now. What the? What's wrong with you? William, call someone about the hallway lights. The objects in the cells are freaking out. Yes, ma'am. What's going on? Who's there? Oh, God! No! No! No, no! I'm in her! Can't get out! There. The hell? Dr. Johnson, are you all right? I I'm coming in. Ah, God, I, I can't. The man behind the door. Hmm. So who are you, buddy? I pulled up the date on Sergeant Barney Hook from the archive. This person had really existed. He served in the U.S. Marine Corps in the 40s, but the details on what happened to him for some reason were classified. No way. Turns out Barney Hook is alive. He's about 80 and living in a nursing home. And who was that in the Foundation's morgue? Agent Vincent Miller. Sir, this is William Fry. We've got an emergency. What happened? Dr. Johnson. She was burned by boiling water while taking a bath. I couldn't help, sir. I I was frozen in fear. What frightened you, William? The man behind the door. I couldn't see him, but I just knew what he looked like. It was like he instilled fear in me. I don't know what would have happened if the other employees hadn't arrived in time. Shit. Sailor Hook clearly brought some kind of abnormal creature into the Foundation. It seemed to have psychic abilities feeding on fears and could switch between hosts. Hmm. William, listen to me. You need to isolate yourself in the infirmary with Dr. Johnson and avoid contact with other Foundation employees. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Uh, things are getting out of hand here. There are power outages and electronic devices keep shutting down. Fine, I'm on my way. I didn't know what I was going to do when I got to the Foundation. How do you stop an abnormal object that instills dreadful fear in you? But it didn't look like I'd be getting into the Foundation today anyway. What the hell? Agent Vincent Miller, what's going on here? Central office has got a distress signal from this area. Containment breach. Shit! Let me in! This is a quarantine zone, sir. No one goes in or out until further notice. William, what the hell is going on in there? This thing is roaming around the zone. Many have already died, killing them all with fear. But what about the power? The man behind the door. The lights and electronic devices go haywire when he's around. Half the containment cells are open. Objects are roaming free. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. Hang on, don't go near the door. I'll find a way to help you. Barney Hook. It all started with him. Hopefully he can shed some light on this mess. I drove to the nursing home. Either one of these two Barney Hooks was an imposter or, uh, or I didn't have a clue what was going on. Mr. Hook, you have a visitor. Good afternoon. My name is Vincent Miller. I'm an employee at the Department of Defense. What does the department need from an old man like me? You see, we're running an investigation and would like to see if you could recall strange events that happened to you in 1943. I understand it was a long time ago and you may not remember. Huh! 
October 28, 1943. I remember like it was yesterday. Kept silent about it for a long time. Afraid of the consequences. But at this point, and at my age, what's there to lose? I had just been transferred to the USS Eldridge. The war was raging, but our destroyer anchored near Norfolk. We were examined by doctors. Scientists were setting up some equipment on board, but never told us why. They were running secret experiments? Uh, those were the rumors. Something about teleportation. No idea. I will say one thing. The compass of the ship would go crazy and the electronic devices haywire. That's when the eggheads tried to activate some kind of portal on the ship. A portal? What kind of portal? Where did it lead? No idea. The day before those events, I fell into the hole and broke my leg. I was decommissioned and ended up on shore duty. On the 28th of October, a thunderstorm was raging across the bay. It was strong. The strongest I'd ever seen. Then something happened on the Eldridge. They must have activated the portal after all. Why do you think that? Uh, just rumors, really. Told by those who had survived that hell. They say they saw some creatures with red skin inside the portal and were struck with terrible fear. So terrible that half of the crew returned to shore in body bags. They also claimed that one of their own had been dragged into the portal. Who? Do you remember his name? Uh, not anymore. So poor fella. After that, the experiment was classified and the USS Eldridge was scrapped. I kept thinking, though, what would have happened to me if I hadn't have broken my leg back then? But what were those creatures? Uh, no idea. I'm tired, young man. Too much air is bad for me. Yeah, uh, of course. I I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hook. I was clueless. If in 1943 Barney Hook wasn't on the ship and he never got into the portal, then where did young Barney Hook come from now? Unless the portal on the ship not only led to a different time, but also to a different world? And then I remembered yesterday's thunderstorm. A storm this strong was last recorded on October 28, 1943. It must have activated the portal in our time. That's how Barney Hook from a parallel reality where he never broke his leg ended up here. He must have brought along a parasitic creature that lives between worlds with him. The man behind the doors of all worlds. We need to get him back to where he came from. Shit, that portal could be anywhere in the bay. Miller. This is Captain Orwell. Sir, we've swept the entire coast. Our guys even searched the sea floor. There's nothing here that resembles a portal. But there is a sunken warship further on. It's there. It should be the USS Eldridge. The portal would be in the same place as it was in 1943. Roger that. On it. Well, now all I have to do is lure you out, man behind the door. On my way to the Foundation, I explained the situation to the Central Office and got permission to finish this case. Agent Vincent Miller. Yes, sir. We were briefed about the situation. Ready to follow your orders. <sighs> it wouldn't be easy. We had no other choice. Sir, we found the ship. It's in bad shape, but there's something here. You were right. Looks like some sort of portal. Good work, Orwell. Stay close. We'll be there soon. Hurry up, sir. Looks like the portal is collapsing. Uh, no time to waste, then. Do we have the image? Yes, sir. Great. Let her in. <laughs> I'm scared. Please don't. I don't enjoy the idea of using young girls as bait, but there were no other Class D employees at hand, and we were running out of time. In the short time I had, I devised a plan and put it into action. We'd lead the Class D into the base so that the object would catch hold of her. Then, we would reel in the man behind the door without losing any more key employees. Come on, where is that bastard? D-12303, do you see that door ahead? Open it. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Let's not forget about the shock collar on your neck. <laughs> Fine, I hate all of you motherfuckers. Oh my god, I feel him. Camera's offline! Got you now! Pull her out and prepare the vacuum-sealed mobile containment cell! Now all we have to do is get the cell holding the Class D into the portal. 
I'm afraid there's a problem, sir. The portal's shrunk too far and the containment cell won't fit through it. Ah, uh, shit. Fine. Open the cell. We'll try and force the girl into the portal. Uh, sounds risky, sir. We don't have time for another plan! Orwell, as soon as the cell is fully open, activate the taser on the collar and get her into the portal! Roger that, sir. Come on, hurry up! I'm trying, it's, it's not working! Shit, something's wrong! Ah, damn it! Now I see why the girl didn't react. She'd already died of fear and... Shit! Jesus! No! <laughs> Agent Miller, sir! Are you alright? Don't get near me! The monster had gotten into my head. I could feel him rummaging through my thoughts. He fed on my fears and was draining my life. Uh, come on, Vincent. You know what you have to do to finish this! Miller, he... he sacrificed himself. Orders, sir? Rendezvous back at base. We're gonna need to clean up the mess that that thing made there. Yeah, Barry, the thunderstorm riled us all up here too. Yeah. I heard last time a storm this strong came through was October 28, 2000. Could you imagine? I'll call you back. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Where am I? How do you know my name? Wait, am I in the Foundation? Don't worry. We've gone through your documents and we've seen that you had served the Foundation 22 years ago. Can you tell me what happened to you? 22 years ago? Oh, damn. That's right. The portal. Am I really? I told the doctor the story of Object 303 and how I jumped into the portal and, apparently, how the thunderstorm must have yanked me into the future. Goodness, you've been through a lot. Get some rest. You'll be asked to answer a lot of questions later. Wait, what about the man behind the door? I didn't bring him into the base, did I? Goodness, you've been through a lot. Get some rest. You'll be asked to answer a lot of questions later. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Uh, would I be able to take a bath? I'm already having a hard time breathing. What are you talking about? Well, uh, these gills aren't going to clean themselves. Come on, Doc. I really need to get into the water or I'll suffocate. <gasps> Jesus, you have gills! Wait, you don't? Oh, God. I understand now. Just like Barney Hook, I, I moved not only through time, but into a parallel universe. <coughs> Seriously, though, <coughs> I could die. <sighs> I'll get someone to help. <coughs> what are you waiting for? <coughs> What's wrong? <coughs> I... I can't get out. There's someone standing outside the door! 